ディズニー・モンスターズ・ユニバーシティディズニー・モンスターズ・ユニバーシティマイクは small and green and round サム・モンスターズ would say he wasn't very scary but マイク had plans big plans someday he was going to be the greatest scarer the world had ever seen And the first step, learning how to scare at Monsters University. Mike was a serious student. He liked studying, he liked his classes. In fact, he liked everything about school except Sally. Sally was another student in Mike's scaring class. Mike and Sally just didn't get along. Mike thought Sally was lazy. Sally thought Mike was too little and cute to be scare, scary. Mike couldn't wait to prove Sally wrong. Mike walked hard. Sally played. Mike studied. Sally went to parties. Mike got A's. Sally got C's. But it didn't matter. During a big test, Mike and Sally got into a fight. Both monsters failed. Sally and Mike were kicked out of scaring class. How would they become great scarers now? Mike wasn't ready to give up his dream. He saw a poster for the scare games. Winning the scare games would prove he was scary. Then, The university would have to let him back into scaring a class. There was one catch. To compete in the games, Mike had to join one of the school's teams. The Roar Omega Roars didn't think Mike was scary enough to be a member of their team. But the Ozma Coppers liked him. With Mike, The Ozma Capers had five monsters. They needed six to be in the games. Did anyone else want to join? Sally did. He wanted to get back into scaling class too. But how could the Ozma Capers ever win the scare games? They were the least scary monsters on campus. Earth, Terry and Terry. Squeezy, Don. Only Sally looked like a real scarer. Big, hairy, scary. Soon the scare games began. They fir the first event was held underground in the school's soil. Sally and Mike both wanted to win. They were trying so hard to beat each other that they left. The rest of the OKs behind. Their team came in last. But another team was kicked out for cheating. The Ozma Capers were still in the running. For the second event, the monsters needed to sneak, pa sneak past the Librarium to get their flag, while Mike and Sally argued about the best way to win. The other Uzma capers walked together. Don, Terry, Terry, and Art distracted the librarian while Squeezy grabbed the flag. After that, Mike realized that if they walked as a team, they'd have a better chance of winning. But Sally didn't believe the Uzma capers could ever be scared enough. To win the scare games. So Mike took them on a field trip to Monsters Inc. The greatest scarers in the world walked there, and they looked nothing alike. Sally realized that there wasn't just one way to be scary. The Ozma Capers were coming together as a team, and their hard work paid off one by one. The other, other teams were getting eliminated 
from the scare games, and the Ozma capers were doing better than ever. In the hide and sneak event, Sally pretended to be a rug. Mike nearly vanished into the background, but the star was down. He struck himself flat against the feed ceiling. Finally, only two teams were left the ROR's and OK's. The last event, scaring. The night before, Mike and Sally practiced and practiced. Still, Sally was worried. Was Mike scary enough? Sally wasn't taking any chances. He changed the settings in the scare room to make it easier for Mike. Mike was thrilled to get a huge scream in the event. Then he found out that Sally had cheated. Mike was mad. After all this time, Sally still didn't believe in him. Mike decided to show everyone how scary he was. He'd scare a real child. He snapped through a forbidden door and into the human world. He found himself in a room of campers. Mike tried out his best scare. Roar! But the kids just smiled. Sally was sorry for cheating and he was worried about Mike. Humans were de dangerous, so Sally followed him, but they both got trapped in the human world. Only one thing could get them out, an enormous scream. It would make enough energy to open the door back to Monsters University. Together, Mike and Sally came up with a plan that would scare the pants of the camp rangers. Using scream energy from the scare, they found their way back to the monster world. Mike and Sally hadn't liked each other when they first met, but now they were friends, and they made a powerful team. They knew that whatever happened next, they'd be okay as long as they stuck together.